today I'm planning out on this cold day redoing a lot of stuff in the garden for this coming up 2019 uh, when, uh, spring growing season I guess you can say uh, what I plan on doing I kind of marked it out with some a ground marking thing is getting rid of a lot of these beds but making it uh, more efficient and where I can grow a lot more uh, things uh, from here it's going to be kind of hard seeing off of the how I'm doing it right now but I'll show you on the paper kind of give you an idea of what it's going to be like uh, from it's going to be a key kind of keyhole and since uh, but we'll have a bed going across through here going back to that pole going where that gra uh, the marking line is at that's where it stops out and then shoots back so you'll have a four foot a little well actually four foot deep eight foot across then coming across here eight foot four foot and then four foot and then we're going to offset about two feet right here the next corner is going to start right here and have your four foot going back going eight foot going across eight foot going across here and four foot going across here four foot going across there four foot going across there so basically so far you can kind of see it's almost like a, a offset keyhole offset we're going to leave that back there uh, so that way you'll be able to reach coming across here and reach going across there since my wife has short arms being that she's five foot two but i'll be able to still reach from she'll be able to still reach from here here and here to, uh, for anything uh, going across there uh, since i have this tree here i wouldn't be able to go the full eight foot across so what i've done is i couldn't really mark on the compost because i don't want i'm not sure if the the marking on that is contaminant or whatever but uh it is what it is this one is just going to be a straight uh four by eight foot bed uh couldn't do much i wanted to extend another four foot over there but the way the tree trunks as you can see even right here you have some tree trunks going across there so i don't want to interfere and have an issue with the plants rooting system interfering with the rooting system of the of the tree uh going back over here so we'll have another bed keyhole bed l-shaped bed i guess you can say you'll have a four foot going across by eight foot another eight foot four foot four foot where this pole's at going across there actually this is probably even yeah it goes back to over there this is rough 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 it's not exact but kind of give me an idea how to go about so we're gonna have to do something with this little four by four bed probably move it over here uh i was trying to see if i will be able to start this bed and just offset it back this way and going across but that is a little bit too long so i'm going to have to uh, just break that up into two separate beds and then i was just talking over with the mrs naked gardener possibly to kind of make this symmetrical start a bed two foot off of here going two foot in line with there going across and ending about the middle of this post here and use this bed for basically flower lemongrass catnip type of things we'll have some pavers going across through here and in the middle there we'll probably i'll probably move the bird bath or uh, put a uh, one of these big old planters my job object is to get all of this keep this all off of the patio and just move it out towards there and we'll come over here align another 
two foot off going across through here aligned to the edge of there uh, and once again put some flowers lemongrass catnip maybe some garlic or onions from there the only thing i really want to keep on the patio is uh basically the centronellas um and things of that nature because as you can see we have lights out here and we like to entertain sometimes with ourselves i built uh some these giant jenga blocks and some uh yahtzee dice yard yahtzee dice that i want to possibly even do out here put them up up on here uh so that's the object on there as you can see it's messy about to use my leaf blower mulcher about to do a video uh review on that but that is that on there i was even possibly coming to look at it uh, maybe even doing a a row of bed here not too sure i am going to do a, a drip system um to for the garden uh because sometimes i don't get a chance to water like i used to or need to i should say and with the way the we had the heat index of last year of multiple days of triple digit that was just killer uh possibly before the weather gets pretty warm this is a perfect time to uh, prune your trees and your bushes uh, because it doesn't stress them as much because right now they're pretty much dormant so a lot of this we're going to trim up all those branches let's see if I can get all these branches we're probably going to trim it up to I had to take my finger out there up to that branch right there uh, that way it allows more sunlight to come uh, through here uh, it doesn't look like it it blocks a lot of light right now but that's because it's the fall winter here in Texas uh, so but during the time we do get it the sun during the spring summer and partial fall the sun this part right over here is all the north side then you have your east side so we get the sun starts off in that direction and moves towards this area uh towards the west so i want to be able to cat be able to where the sun is able to hit everything and kind of going from there another thing i would like to do for my beds is kind of separate the beds i was thinking about doing like a in this l shape area doing like a uh, American this L shape area do like some Hispanics uh, this area right here probably do uh, Asian crops and this L shape right here doing some type of Italians uh, so and what I mean I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be growing for, for like for it each bed will have a particular tomato uh, plant in it uh, it will have uh, herbs and flowers on each corner uh, as a beneficial to bring some pollinators and whatnot. And the Italian might do some eggplant, uh, some different types of lettuce, uh, broccoli raw, um, some parsley, basil, uh, maybe some spinach. You know, who, who knows exactly for sure. Rosemary. And the American, I might definitely have a tomato plant over there. Uh, maybe uh, some uh, lettuce, some uh, bell, pe a lot of bell peppers, um, different things of that nature. Herbs and flowers on this, uh, each corner. Here, what was, was this? This was a Hispanic who do a tomatillo, probably off in the corner here. Um, I'll probably do some cucumber crumb, crumb up over there or we're going to have a, actually oh that's what I forgot to mention we're going to have an archway going across from here so when you're walking through you'll be into an archway I'm kind of iffy on that because of the spiders but 
we shall see. Spiders are not bad, but I hate walking through spider webs. Here on the Asian side, we're gonna have some, I'm gonna try to do some Chinese eggplant, bok choy, garlic, lemongrass, um, Napa cabbage, uh, things of that, maybe some Asian beans, some pole beans, some dragon tongue bee, uh, peas, maybe some edamame or however you say it, uh, and some uh, shishito peppers, some awesome stuff over there. And in those two small beds, uh, who knows? It might be for the winter garden. Maybe do some uh, more kohlrabi, some radishes, some things that's able to, you know, that is my intentions uh, for the revamping of this year's uh, bed. I'm probably going to build another planter's box here. Uh, I actually, as you can see, I need a larger one, so I'll probably give this one to my pops and uh, kind of go from there. I'm going to just got this from a local nursery. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, for hydro uh, hydroponic plants, so I'm going to check those out and see kind of how to go from there test those out for all the brock the extra broccoli and cauliflower that are, we're growing if it does well we can continue to do that put those in most of these fabric containers uh y'all probably seen a lot of these fabric containers that i have uh, these are awesome i really not gonna put any uh vegetables in these terracottas anymore because they, they dry out very fast unless you have a drip system even though i am going to have a try to install a drip system next year or this year i just don't like to, that they dry out very fast i mean it just rained about half an inch uh friday and as you can see this is all wet still but look at that it's dry dry as i don't know what so that kind of goes it doesn't retain water which i mean look at these these are still wet the bed over here is still wet the bed next to it is still wet compost pile is still wet which i'm about to move back over there if you want to probably do another video on that how to do a fresh new compost but those are my intentions of this year so we will see how it all entails I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in um, I'm glad I'm getting a lot of good feedbacks about these YouTube videos um, last year was my first year gardening and hoping to did pretty well uh, hoping to exceed those what i did last year and uh thrive better especially with my tomatoes and peppers uh see how those go but so if you like the video like and subscribe uh, and comment down below to let me know what you would like to see in future videos don't forget to share the video as well that maybe you ha might have some family members some friends that might want to also have an interest in garden but that don't know the route to go about i mean i didn't know but you can see uh not doing too bad and uh just kind of go from there thank y'all for watching and let's continue to grow together be easy